I find that a lot of students that come to me want to do something meaningful in the world. 10, 15 years ago, even my peers wanted to just get rich or, or go work finance. And they talked more about a job and a salary. But now I hear more and more people that what they truly want to do is have a real impact. This is a really tricky question. There's two parts to it. What do you mean by impact and what is it that you want to do? So if you find yourself in that situation, thinking I want to have impact, uh, I'm going to ask you to think about your engineering education or your science education a whole other way. You're just acquiring this family of phenomenal skills that allow you to change nature. You can take nature and wield it so that it helps us do more things, reach further, including, for instance, save the planet so that we can live further. I will acknowledge to you that language in each of these fields is tricky, so you need to kind of get a bit beyond the language of the field so that you can see beyond the, boundary, the boundaries or the apparent boundaries. But at the end of the day, engineering, science, technology are the most human uh, fields you can actually imagine. This is a deeply, uniquely human endeavor. No other species does that at the scale at which we do it. Right. So impact me comes from actually being able to apply all these family of skills to change the world whichever way you want it. And it could be in this small place, or it could be in the entire world level. It doesn't really matter. That's actually, actually up to what you're up to these days. Right? I find that my students often come with the opposite mindset, which is that they are chemists, or they are biotechs, or they are a business students. I have plenty of business students in my classes too. And so they are kind of using their background as a limit and so I'm going to ask you, as you think about the impact you want to achieve, if you choose to find your, in your background a boundary condition, then that's kind of going to limit your impact. Right? So instead, you should see it as a tool. But that's how I went from chemical engineering to doing a telecom company to then becoming a quantum physics student and then doing electrodynamics to then going uh, and doing a PhD in artificial intelligence and founding numerous technology companies all across the domain. So your background, whatever you're learning today, is essentially a skill set for whatever it is that you want to do later.